Hello and welcome to this uh, ICT lesson. Today I want to show you how you can create a relationship with more than two tables. You can see here I have three tables. One contains information about students in an academy and the name of the database is Academy. These are the students we have in this example and I can still open this library uh, table here you can see library transactions which have been done by some of the students each time they borrow a book from the library they create what we call borrow ID this column is automatic and each borrowing has details such as book ID book title days the book was borrowed then we will charge them uh, according to the days uh, the book stayed with the student. For example, if a student stays with a book for two days, uh, this person will be charged low. And if a student stays with the book uh, for uh, around four days, that, that charge will be mid and the charge will be high if the student will spend like uh, more than five days with the book. Then in this column, we have admission numbers of the students who borrow the books. Then the other table, I call it uh, lib fees. Here we have different rates. If it is high, that is uh, 100 shillings per day. If it is low, that is around 50 shillings per day. And mid, 75. The reason why we have this lib fee uh, table, because we might create other charges in future by just coming here and adding them here or we can even adjust the rate at which we charge by just coming here and making the changes. So these three tables at the moment are independent uh, because if I click uh, database tools relationship you can see there is no relationship so far created. So since these tables I ha have some columns across, we will need uh, to relate them so that we can take advantage of making a query which gets de details from either of the three tables. So here, uh, you can see in my student uh, table, I have a column called admission number. Then coming to my library table, I have that column of admission number. So I can relate these two tables. Then another point here to note, in the library table we have a column called a charge code. Then in my lib fees, in my lib fees table, I have charge code as well here. So I can relate this lib fees together with this library. But I cannot uh, link the student table here because I I can't link it with the lib fees because there is no column which is common here and it is there in lib fees. So I will go ahead and close all these tables. You close all these tables so that they don't appear in this window in order for you to create a relationship. So I will simply come to database tools. Then I will click relationships. Then here, I will simply go ahead and add the three tables, all of them, and I will close. If, you, if I go ahead and expand this, you can now see I can create a very good relationship between this table. Let me start here with student ID. I have student ID here. So this one can be related by just dragging on top of the the admission number and remember to enforce referential integrity then I will also connect this charge code to this charge code by just dragging like this and enforcing referential integrity then click create so I will go ahead and save this and you can see my tables are now related I will just close here now the next thing to do is I want to create a query which will show me the name of student and the book which was borrowed and the days 
which the student spent with the book and the charge which the student is supposed to pay. And to do that, I will have to go to create. Then under query design, I will just click. Here I will just add my three tables to my query, which are at the moment related, like that. Try to expand it so that everything is visible. Then I will just drag this so that I have uh, a good working area. Now, what I want is this. I want admission number of a student, then the first name only. That is very important. Uh, admission number, first name. I also want a class, of course, so that I can follow up maybe for the students to pay. Uh, you must know where the student belongs in which class. Then another important thing here, we want to know actually uh, which book, book ID, which book this student borrowed and uh, the title. Then also we want to know the days this book was borrowed, daily rate. I, I want to know the daily rate which was applied when this book was borrowed for those number of days. So if I run this query, you can see here now, uh, I can see this student uh, borrowed this title of a book and this person took uh, two days three days, five days, like that, then and the rate. So the next thing to do here, I want to create another column, which will be taking days borrowed multiplied by daily rate, so that I get the, the, the library fee this person is supposed to pay. And to do that, I will have to go and change this query to the design view. And here, uh, under under fields, under the name the name of the column or field, I want to create my own calculated field, which only appears when the query is running. So I will just right click here and choose zoom. And in the zoom window, I want to create a, a column, which I, let me call it lib. Uh, let me write in small letters lib charge okay lib charge and i will put colon instead of equal sign the way we normally do it in excel here in, in ms access we just put the colon lib charge column and the names of the column should have no space to make it easier to manage these names so i have used an underscore there to connect the two words, lib charge, then colon. Then I'm coming here to pick uh, uh, days borrowed. I will copy this without spelling mistake. I will just write here days underscore borrowed, days borrowed. Then I will multiply with a star. You multiply with daily rates. Uh, so that I can get the amount to be paid daily underscore rate. So this is the expression which I have written and it will give a result which will be shown in a column called lib charge. So I will click OK. And now if I run this query, you can see it has created another column here called lib charge. And this is actually what we want. So I will go ahead and save this and maybe call it uh, lib charge query underscore q. Lib charge query, q represent query, then I will click OK. Now from this query, when it is open like this, I can generate a first report by just clicking create, then you click report here. Now you can see my report has appeared. Now my work is just to arrange 
the content of this report so that it looks attractive in a printable way. Just arrange it very fast so that everything appears between these two margins with the dotted lines so that when the printer is printing, printing this content nothing will be cut out of the paper so you can, you can see everything is moving in and out you can move this then here we have a number of records down there so you can see my report is well formatted now I will go ahead and give it a nice title let me just call it uh, library fees chart library fees chart okay then this uh, titles you need to format them well to look nice by removing uh, anything which can make them difficult to read first name we format it well this is class you can start with the capital letter class class like that then book id i can separate by removing the underscore and this title can start with the capital letter uh, days borrowed you can start the, the word days and I remove the underscore daily rate as well start with the capital letter remove the underscore so that it is well formatted lib charge you can write the word library in the full library charge then remove this underscore like that so that now I can have a well formatted report here by just adjusting a few things here and there so that everything fits well within this A4 paper so I can come here and click home tab and even left align this one uh, left align that even this class left align it just like that then I will press control click one title press control down on the keyboard and click all of this I want to give them a nice color here let me try bolding them and giving them maybe uh, blue color let me, try, let me just give them red color just like that so finally this report looks attractive and can be printed if I come to my uh, view here and choose print preview you can see this is how the report will appear when we are printing it and the report is a good summary with information from the three tables showing everything and it can be presented to the management it is only one page that is how we use database relationship to extract information from different tables and put them in a query and from the query now we can easily generate a report thank you for participating see you next time bye bye